Hello again, my friends of KO1. On this marvelous Monday, May 11th, um, we are here for our skills lesson. Um, this is module four, cycle 24, lesson 124. And it is our chaining lesson. So for today, for chaining, I'm gonna give you a minute. Go get a whiteboard and a dry erase marker or a pencil and a paper. Um, you can pause me and go get that and come back. But I'm gonna, um, you know, talk you guys through this. So we'll, of course, as always with chaining, we will start, um, I'll show you some examples of it. I'll show you on my whiteboard and you don't have to do anything, you just have to listen. And then we will do it together. Um, you know, we will do it together on the second round, okay? So this is our lesson on chaining. And uh, I'm excited, Miss Ewan loves the chaining lesson. So if you could take aim, that would be great. I can identify the initial, the final, and the middle sounds in CVC words. Please let your arrows go. Now remember, let your arrows go, by the way. Remember, in CVC words, you most of the time have three letters. But recently, lately, we've been looking at letters that end in a silent E. Remember what I told you? That silent E is our secret letter, remember? It's our secret letter that changes our vowel sounds to make a long vowel sound, okay? And when you look at the initial sound, the initial sound is the first sound. The final sound is the end sound, and the middle sound is the middle sound, or the second sound. Okay. All right, are you ready? When we say a new word by changing one sound, replace or turning sound into round, we can change sounds at the beginning, the middle, or end. Then we'll say our new word, remember to blend. All right, my friends, so we're gonna do some blending today. Remember, if we take and change one sound in a word, it changes the whole word. It makes a whole brand new sound, okay? So we're gonna do some tapping out of some words first. We're gonna practice it. I'm gonna practice it on my whiteboard. You guys don't have to practice it. You just have to listen to me, and then you and I are gonna do it together, okay? First word that I'm gonna say to you is, and we're gonna tap this one out. This word is, how many, actually, you know what? Let's not tap that out yet. Let's, let, let's think about this. How many sounds do we hear in the word hope? Okay, let's tap that out. <sighs> oh, try that again. <sighs> oh, how many times did I tap my fingers there? You're right, friends. I tapped my fingers three times. So, oh, I hear three sounds there. But wait a minute. Huh. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to write the word hope on my board. Again, you don't have to write the word. I'm just going to show you something. So I just tapped this word out, right? I said, oh, and we said there were three sounds, but I see four letters here. And remember what that means. That's that silent E, the E that you don't hear, makes the vowel sound a long vowel sound. So it's the O sound, okay? Now, if I change the sound to a er sound, what word do I have now? So I'm taking point to the sound, or Point to it, if you wrote it down, you can point to it. If not, think of where that sound is. And I want you to change it to the er sound. Hmm. Okay. So you know what Miss Ewan's gonna do? I'm gonna get a different marker. Hold on a minute. And I wanna I wanna show you guys how we could do this, how I can make it easier for you to see. All right. Now, I just did this. Watch this. I took a sound. Miss Ewan says, change it to a er sound, right? And keep the rest. So I took the sound and I changed it to make it rope. 
All right, moving on. Hmm. Now we're gonna make some silly words, okay? So I want you to think about how we chain. Remember, I'm gonna give you all the sounds in the word, we're gonna tap them out, and then I'm gonna change one of the sounds. It could be the beginning sound, it could be the middle sound, or it could be the ending sound, okay? So it could be any of those sounds. So here we go. We're gonna play a silly game. Now we're gonna start with the word cone. Okay, everyone say that word out loud. Echo Miss Ewan. Cone. Cone. You can write it if you want, but just think of maybe how you would spell the word cone. All right, I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's tap out those sounds there. Oh, mm. Oh, mm. So see how I only tapped out three sounds? I only hear the k and the o and the mm, but I don't hear the e sound. So remember what that means, friends. It is a secret letter e that then it's silent, we don't hear it, and it changes my vowel sound to be a long o, right? So it's the o sound. Okay, so now we're gonna take the word cone and we're gonna break it down. What is the first sound that you hear in cone? K -k -k. Very good. That is the first sound that we hear in the word cone. K -k -k. Okay, very good. What is the second sound in the word cone? K -k. Oh, very good, the O sound. And then friends, what is the last sound that we hear in the word cone? Oh, mm, very good. The last sound is the mm sound. Now, what would happen if I change the k sound to a t sound? Hmm. If I change the k sound to a t sound. Let's see. Let's see about that. And remember, I'm keeping all the same letters at the end. So if I change that k sound to a t, sound. See how I did that? I took the k sound, I point to it. I want to change the k sound to a t sound, like I did. I changed it to a t. And now the word is tone. T -t tone. Okay? So all chaining is, and I know that I've done these lessons a few times, but I just want to remind you that all chaining is, is changing different letters in the word to make a whole new word okay let's try another one okay try another one so let's take the t sound okay actually you know what? we're going to start with a brand new set of words okay so i'm going to start over not that one we're not going to change that one we're going to start with the word lane now lane okay and i'm going to show you lane because let's let's tap it out first o a n so it is three sounds, but it makes the A sound, that vowel sound, the A sound. So I know that it ends in E, right? Remember, we have that secret letter E at the end. So here we go. O, A, N, secret letter E at the end, okay? Now, I want you to tell me, what is the last sound in the word lane? Now I know you want to point to that E, but remember friends, I told you we don't hear the E sound, right? That's a silent letter E, so pretend like it's not even there. But we know it's there to make the long vowel sound. So it's ooh, A, A, you hear the A in there? So the last sound in lane is N, mm. okay, I'm pointing to it. All right, so the last sound in lane is the N mm sound. Now, what I want to do is change the mm sound to a p sound. Okay? We're gonna change the o, the n, the n mm sound, sorry, the n mm sound to a p sound. And remember, friends, we're keeping all the same other letters in the word. All right? So I took the n mm sound and I made an arrow down and I was like, oh, Miss Ewan wants the p sound instead. So that makes the word late. And you know what? It's a silly word. It's definitely a silly word, but you know what that means? It's okay. Okay? It's okay to have silly words. All right? 
Now, we're going to do two more, two more, and then we're going to do it together. And I'm going to give you an assignment, okay? Let me erase this. We are going to start with the word road. Not like the road that we drive on, but like I rode on a horse or I rode in the car. Okay, I'm going to show you the word. Now remember, er, oh, I hear the O oh sound there. So that means at the end, I have my secret letter E. Okay, so road. Now this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I want you to point for me on the screen and with me, I'm going to point to it. I'm going to point to the first sound in the word. That is the er sound. Now I'm going to take the er sound and I'm going to change it to a ch sound. See that? So I'm not just changing, I'm not just moving it one letter. I want you to look at me again. I'm changing the er sound to a ch 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 sound, like a chu. Remember that ch sound? All right, so now I'm going to take my marker. And I'm going to make an arrow down from the er sound because the er sound is the, the sound that we're changing. And I'm going to change it to the ch sound because that's what Miss Ewan said. So change it to the ch sound. Okay, ready? Ready for me to show you? You see that? I took the er sound and I changed it to the ch sound. So now it's instead of road, it is ch old. Okay, that's a silly word, right? That doesn't even make any sense. There's no words that are those words. All right, now we're going to do one more together. All right, I'm going to write the word June, like the month, like the month of June for next month. I'm going to show it to you. And this is our first letter U word, or, let, or long U word that we've had. So, ooh, hmm, ooh, you, it sounds like you, huh? So it makes the same sound as the letter. That means it's a long vowel sound. So because I know that's a long vowel sound, we have the secret E at the end, okay? But let's tap it out. J, j ooh, mm, j, ooh, mm. Okay, I'm only tapping it out, only tapping my fingers three times because I only hear three sounds. I don't hear that E sound at the end because it's a secret E. That means that we have the long vowel sound in the word, okay? Now, I want you to change the J sound to a D sound, okay? So I'm gonna make my little arrow down. I'm gonna find my J sound and I'm gonna change it to a Sound. Oh wow, look at that. And that goes from June to Dune. Dune. Okay. All right, so those are the words that we are going to practice today. Now we're going to move on to doing some words on our own. But hold on one minute. Say game. I can. Read and spell CVCE words with the phonemes or the sounds P, O, K, J, N, T, U, and D. Okay, so those are all the sounds that we are going to hear and read and change and play with today. Okay, let your arrows go. Now let's use some letters to make a word like can. Replace the C with the letter D and now we have Dan. We can do it at the beginning, the middle, or the end. Then we'll read the new word, remember to blend. All right, so get out your sound boards, right? Get out your whiteboard or your paper. And erase everything that you have on it if you were working with me. All right? And I'm going to show you, remember, it looks a little different now, our soundboard. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you. 
my soundboard looks different because why? You used to split your boards. Remember when we were in class together? You used to only have three sections for three letters. Now you have one, two, three, four sections for four letters. But remember, friends, there's only three sounds. We have the magic letter E at the ends of these words. All right? Okay. Now we're going to do some some chaining together, all right? Um, you're submitting this to me, so pay attention, all right? This is gonna be part of your assignment today. All right, now, just give me one minute. One, one, one minute, one minute, one minute, okay. So we're gonna tap out all the sounds that we hear in this lesson, but instead of me giving you the changed word. So I'm not gonna tell you the change word, the changing sound that we're gonna do. I'm gonna have you guys write it down for me and then you're gonna send it to me. So this is part of your skills assignment, all right? So the first word we're gonna start with, I'll write the first word, okay? And I will tell you what sound we're changing, but then you guys are gonna change the sound for me, all right? So the first word we're starting with is the word joke. Say it with me. Joke. Tap it out. J O K. Again. J O K. Okay, I'm gonna write it on my board. Now I heard the O sound, so that means it's a long O. So that means I have my magic E at the end. Okay? And I'm gonna show it to you on my board. Here we go. J O K. All right. What's the first sound in J O K? First sound is J. That's the J sound, the J sound. Okay. Now I want you to take that J sound and change it to a P sound. So you're changing the J sound right? And you're changing it to the p sound. I'm going to do it on my board. I'm going to show you, and I want you to tell me if you have the right answer. Okay, see that here? So I took the j sound and I changed it to a p sound. So instead of joke now, we have poke, all right? All right. You think we can do this? You think I can? You think I can give you a few words without um, me helping you? Because this is your assignment. Get out a piece of paper right now if you haven't already, or you can do this on a whiteboard. It's totally up to you. Totally fine. So here we go. You're just listening to me now. All right. So let's take the word poke, so we just made the word poke, point to the k sound, and change it to the word poke. We're changing the poke to poke. We're taking the k sound and changing it to a p sound, okay? I'm gonna do it on my board. I want you to do this with me. You're doing this with me. So we're taking poke and we're changing the k sound to a p sound, okay? Now, these are all different ways we can change words. See that? It doesn't have to always be at the beginning or the end. It can be at the middle part. So this stays the same, O. Oh, I didn't say to change the beginning sound. I didn't say to change the vowel sound. I said change the k sound. Change the k sound to a p sound. All right. All right, we're going to do one more. All right. We're going to do one more, and then you guys are going to work on some long O sounds because that's what we've been doing today with our chaining. All right, ready? 
we're going to take the word pope and I'm going to split it up like we have on our sound boards. Remember? Now we have four different rows. And I'm going to take the word pope. I want to take the sound, the beginning sound, point to it, and change it to a k sound. Okay? So we're taking the beginning sound and changing it to a k sound. And I'm going to show you. See what I did there? I took my beginning p sound and I changed it to my k sound. So making pope into cope. Okay? All right. So we did a lot of words today that were long O sounding words. And we did a lot of chaining, which we've done before a lot. But you are going to actually work on a worksheet today that you don't have. Don't worry. You don't have this worksheet. Um, but I'm going to put it up on the screen. And you are actually going to um, try and do it for me. Okay. So over here, I'm going to show you this worksheet right here. It says, create a sentence. So you're going to make your own sentences using the words from this word box. All right. And notice they're all short O words. Hmm. But I don't want short O words. I want long O words. Okay. So we're not going to do short O. We're going to do long O because we've been practicing long O. All right. So let me just Get one up for you for us to work on because we did a lot of long O sounds today in our chaining. All right. I'm going to post the worksheet um, on Edmodo so you guys can um, do it for skills today. Okay. So your skills assignment for today is going to be a long O worksheet and it's going to be in the folder after I say bye to you. Okay. So great job chaining today. Remember, we changed different sounds of the word um, to make new words. So have a great day. This was our skills lesson, and your skills assignment will be a worksheet up in the folder. All right, friends, I will see you soon.